Hello everyone, my name is Noah and today I am bringing you episode one of my orange chicken vlog. So yeah, I love orange chicken whenever I go to Chinese restaurants, Cantonese restaurants, um, you know, whether it's locally owned or a chain, I just, I love orange chicken. Um, it's just such an easy go-to. Um, you know, I do like sweet and sour chicken. I do like beef and broccoli, but orange chicken is just always a go-to. Um, you know, I love to eat it with cream cheese wontons. I do like an egg roll every once in a while. Um, fried rice, white rice, you know, just orange chicken though, overall, such a go-to as the main entree when going to these restaurants. And recently, I really got inspired by Ryan Trahan's videos, um, along with a little bit of the You Betcha videos. I believe his name is Miles for the You Betcha videos. Um, yeah, just kind of combining a couple ideas together um, with those videos. Um, so yeah, I just kind of want to build off of that with episode one here being a little bit of introduction about my inspiration and also a restaurant that I went to recently that was a very good restaurant, very good orange chicken. Um, and yeah, also while I was there, that experience also kind of gave me a little bit of inspiration to make the vlog as well. Um, so yeah, let's, let's hop into it. All right, so I'll begin talking about Ryan Trahan's videos. Um, yeah, he has a series of videos um, on YouTube where he is going into one star Yelp reviewed places. Um, they don't all appear to be one star as in like they're literally one star, but they might be like 2.2 stars and you know, the top reviews are, are one star for that matter. Um, so yeah, he keeps going around to these different places for restaurants, um, hotels, and yeah, it kind of got me thinking about what locally owned uh, Chinese or Cantonese restaurants um, are one star rated as their top review. And why don't we go try it out? Because there might be some diamonds in the rough. So just to show his channel, um, here is his YouTube channel. Um, I began viewing these, some of these, uh, you know, one star hotels, one star camping, one star theme parks. I began viewing some of these um, on Snapchat, actually, he's created a lot of these, a lot of these videos into Snapchat episodes. So that's how I began watching those. And then as for the You Betcha guy, um, yeah, I think Miles, um, you know, he's going around into these small town bars, uh, like very, very small town bars, um, and finding these dive bars and trying those out. Um, he also goes into different restaurants and rates their ranches. Um, so yeah, I just think, um, you know, again, kind of going around to like, locally owned type places just kind of interested in you know what they have to offer you know what you keep seeing these places and you just kind of think to yourself like you know no thanks but you know what do they have to offer so showing uh you betcha's youtube page here you'll see you know wisconsin bar is 114 years old or how they visited a minnesota bar in a town of five people so I'm from the Midwest uh, myself, and I'm actually in, located in Minnesota as well. So again, that's kind of where the inspiration comes from to go to these locally owned places. I will link their channels in the description below because again, they are the inspiration. Um, but yeah, I mean, Ryan, he has over 14 and a half million subscribers. So you may have already heard of him. And uh, you betcha if you're in the Midwest, you've, you've definitely heard of him. But he is at 742,000 subscribers currently. Um, so yeah, pretty big channels. And uh, yeah, I'll link them down below. They are, they are the um, a combination inspiration for what I'm going to try to do here. Um, in terms of Ryan, yeah, he does a lot of traveling. He has the subscribers and the funds for that matter to be doing that. He does a lot of traveling to do his uh, one-star Yelp review videos. Um, but in terms of You Betcha being locally owned in the Midwest, um, that's kind of where I will come in with my idea of going around places in the Twin Cities area in Minnesota. And if I get the opportunity to branch out while I'm on my own vacations, though, um, I'll do some some reviews while I'm on vacation. So now I would like to get into um, uh, orange chicken that I ate recently. Um, and it was very good orange chicken. Um, I'll give it a five out of five stars and you will see that. Um, but yeah, I went to a locally owned restaurant called Ho King in Cottage Grove, Minnesota. And looking into it, it has 3.3 stars on Google, which I will show here in a moment. 
Um, so yeah, kind of one of those things where it was kind of like, you know, is this going to be good? Is this not going to be good? It's not like it's very highly rated. Um, you know, typically when you're looking at restaurants, especially popular ones, um, you know, you typically see like a 4.0 to a full five stars for that matter, if, if they're lucky. Um, but you know, you typically see that four plus mark on restaurants and this one was at 3.3. So kind of where this comes in, in terms of Ryan's videos was um, one of the top comments had a one star review. So um, yeah, let's get into some orange chicken that I had. So again, showing Ho King, um, 3.3 stars on 237 reviews. Um, again, appears to be uh, a very locally owned restaurant. As you can see, um, what I'm assuming is the owners as their profile picture. Um, and then yeah, the front of the building, um, it's kind of on the, it's kind of in the middle of a strip mall. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, getting into their menu just to kind of show some of the different menu items. I mean, as you can see a lot of options, um, would love to get into if they have a photo of their like meals, uh, or meal numbers. Uh, so like right here, the combination dishes, uh, this is what I had. I had, um, the first time I went there, it was a number 10 with orange chicken. And the second time I was there, it was a number 11 with orange chicken. And now we're kind of jumping back into what is inspiring this whole thing is I went there with my girlfriend and we ordered orange chicken and rice. And the worker was very friendly and helpful in terms of suggesting, well, why don't you get a combo meal? Um, that way you don't have to get a whole like really big container of orange chicken, a big container of rice for X amount of dollars more. Instead, you get a combo, it's a little bit cheaper, and you also get the cream cheese wontons. We can do a number 10, sub the orange chicken. Um, likewise, the second time I went, I got, it was a number 11, the woman let me sub in the orange chicken and still gave me the cream cheese wontons. Um, so yeah, just helpful in terms of ordering. Um, Price-wise, it's about $12.50. Um, that's just going to be kind of a ballpark um, off the top of my head here. I, I believe it was about twelve fifty. dollars um, So yeah, after tax and everything, which solid price. Um, and yeah, you'll see uh, in my Google review that I'm about to get into here that uh, it's a really good sized portion. I was very full. I ate the whole thing. Um, I just couldn't stop. It was very good. Um, so yeah, I just I had to eat the whole thing. Uh, in terms of, I would almost say like a normal person eating it. You could probably turn it into two, into two meals, honestly. So yeah, very plentiful in what they give you. So I am logged into Google right now. Uh, I'm not sure if mine will pop up first because I'm logged in and it's my review, but I truly do hope that my review is most relevant at five stars, just like Ryan's videos. Um, he always left a five-star review. Um, so yeah, my review was, it was only takeout unfortunately, but overall the staff was helpful with ordering. The orange chicken sauce was amazing and was plentiful. Good rice, great cream cheese wontons, overall five stars, I will be back. And then when I went back for a second time, update, as I said, I was back, still at a five star experience, love the orange chicken and wontons, I took pics this time. To give example and more context of what is below it, a one star review and another one star review. So yep, just wanted to kind of freshen up a little bit, especially with my picture of the orange chicken and also the meal that my girlfriend's dad got as well. Um, but yeah, here is the highlight of my video for sure. The orange chicken. I do have soy sauce on my rice. Um, just, just if anyone's wondering on the, the coloration of my rice there, it is just soy sauce, but yeah, there's the orange chicken. Um, just a great meal again, a uh, very good portion size four wontons. Um, yeah, great, uh, great place. And going beyond that, um, kind of continuing on what inspired me is I ended up getting 300 plus hits on my Ho King photos. Um, so I thought that was really cool too. Um, you know, hopefully someone saw my photos and was inspired to go there for dinner. So yeah, to wrap things up here, um, yeah, pretty cool experience in terms of just going to a restaurant out of the blue, kind of found a little bit of a diamond in the rough and hopefully have inspired other people to go there as well. Um, so yeah, Ho King, Cottage Grove, Minnesota. Um, yeah, five out of five in my book. Uh, very good orange chicken. So yeah, going beyond that, uh, hope to try out more locally owned places um, and hopefully also leave Google reviews for them too. Um, but yeah, more locally, owned, more locally owned places and chains and maybe even like go to a store and get something out of the frozen section as well. 
um, and just keep doing some orange chicken reviews. Uh, potentially create my own orange chicken, you know, find some online recipes and try it at home as well. Um, you know, uh, I see a lot of fun in the future with uh, just trying out new places. So uh, yeah, looking forward to the next episode.